Hello and welcome to another episode of Inside the PGTI. In this edition, we travel to Kensville Golf and Country Club for the Kensville Open 2019, presented by Tata Steel PGTI. The Kensville Open 2019, presented by Tata Steel PGTI, attracted a full field of 126 golfers including three amateurs. The tournament carried a prize purse of 40 lakh rupees. The Kensville Open is one of the regular stops on the PGTI calendar. In that sense, we are happy that we have the flexibility and the versatility to, to do that. And that's why it becomes a good championship course. It becomes a good course for the Q School. Uh, and it's a favorite of the PGTI and IGU to come in back and play here. The club management put in long hours to get the course in top condition. The conditions have, obviously, like any other course, it's been a challenge to maintain it, especially considering the water and the environment that we are in. But uh, we're delighted that it has matured to a level where uh, people are enjoying it. I'm very happy to get the feedback that I've heard from the players this year. And uh, it's a constant effort. You know how fragile a golf course environment is. So it's a challenge, but uh, I'm very happy that my team has performed. Uh, to the task and uh, the conditions are good. We've been getting good weather, the water is good this year, so it's been a good, it's been challenging, but it's been nice. The 7,260-yard Par 72 Kensville Golf and Country Club course was established 15 years ago. It was designed by one of India's leading golf course designers, the late Colonel K.D. Bagga and India's most celebrated golfer and two-time Asian Tour Order of Merit champion, Jeev Milkasin. This picturesque course can be easily modified to suit the needs of both amateur and professional golf. The two key figures who helped us design this course was Colonel K.D. Bagga and then, of course, Jeev Milkasin. And something important that Jeev told us uh, almost 15 years ago was that it's very easy to make a difficult course, but it's tough to make an easy course because an easy course can be tweaked to make it tough, but a difficult course cannot be tweaked to make it easy. Some of the holes, especially some of the par threes that are guarded by bunkers and water bodies, are tricky and can be unforgiving. The trick to low scores here is to keep the ball on the fairway, away from the deep rough. The condition of the course and the greens drew handsome praise from the golfers. I was playing about uh, five years, I think, here. Now, this year is much better golf course and the greens, fairways, excellent safe in this year. I don't know how they're making like this. With the 2019 Tata Steel PGTI season heading towards its grand finale, the Kensville Open was an important stop for India's top professional golfers to put up a good show that would keep them in the mix for top honours on the order of merit. I think the greens are soft and receptive, so I think anything around par would, would play the weekend for sure, but you never know these days. I mean, the guys on the PGTI are so good, so, uh, but, I, but I think par, par should definitely do it. The buzz at the start of the Kensville Open was that 14 or 15 under par could be a winning score. This golf course should be about 15 to 16 under to win. Greens are very nice greens, which uh, we have to true line now, but only the speed, speed we have to judge. The windy conditions in the mornings, fast greens and tricky pin positions gave an interesting twist to challenges that the course posed to the players. You have to putt well for sure and then hit fairways because roughs are quite up, so it won't be easy to you know, stop on the green from the roughs. But if you hit fairways, then it's very easy. Sunit Chaurasia was destined to play golf. Hailing from Kolkata, he was born into a family that is closely linked to the game. His father worked at the Royal Calcutta Golf Club. But his illustrious uncle, SSP Chaurasia, one of India's all-time great professional golfers, inspired him to become a golfer. Young Sunit started playing golf when he was just eight years old. He wanted to follow the footsteps of SSP, who had won multiple titles on the European Tour and Asian Tour. When I was 
आठ साल का था सो मैं क्लब में ही रहता था बिकॉज ऑफ माई फादर इज़ वर्किंग द गोल्फ कोर्स सो बट माई चाचा यूज टू प्रैक्टिसिंग आई मीन लाइक दैट टाइम ऑब्वियसली ही वॉज इन ही वॉज ए प्रोफेशनल गोल्फर सो आई यूज टू प्रैक्टिस इन आर सी जी सी बट वन डे आई लाइक गोल्फ बट आफ्टर दैट आई टेल माई चाचा टू यू नो कि आई वॉन्ट टू प्ले गोल्फ यू नो दैट लाइक सो उन्होंने फिर मुझे कैंप में डाला इंद्रजीत भलोटिया के कैंप में सो फिर मैं वहाँ पर उनके इंद्रजीत सर के साथ दो तीन साल तक काम किया फिर मैं स्लोली स्लोली खेलना शुरू किया फेडेटोर्स एंड जूनियर्स उसके बाद फिर मुझे लगा कि मैं एमेटर में जाके कुछ आई मीन कर सकता हूँ After turning professional in 2018, Sunit is trying to create his own space in the competitive world of Indian professional golf. It has been a steep learning curve for him. Last year was good. I mean, मैंने ठीक ठाक खेला मैंने कार्ड रखना रखा अपना बट मैंने काफ़ी कुछ सीखा प्रोफेशनल में भी बिकॉज एमेटर एंड प्रोफेशनल में काफ़ी फ़र्क होता है सो so, यहाँ पे आपको अगर अच्छा खेलना है आई I मीन mean, जीतना है तो आपको कंसिस्टली चारों राउंड अच्छा खेलना होता है एंड एमेटर uh, में क्या था अगर इफ़ यू प्लेइंग बैट फर्स्ट डे देन आप जीतने के आप, आप तीन राउंड अगर अच्छा खेलो तो भी जीत सकते हो Even when SSP is away playing on the Asian tour, he keeps a close watch on his nephew's performance on the PGTI. During tournaments, Sunit discusses the day's round with his uncle. मैं उनको ऑफिस हर दिन ही जब मैं टॉर टॉर पे होता हूँ वो जब बाहर होते हैं वो भी टॉर पे सो हम लोग व्हाट्सएप पे हर टाइम फोन कॉल और मैसेजेस में बात करते रहते हैं तो मैं उनको वो भी चेक करते रहते हैं स्कोर When SSP is in his hometown, he makes it a point to play a couple of rounds of golf with his nephew at the Royal Calcutta Golf Club. दोनों हम दोनों साथ में ही प्रैक्टिस करते हैं आज से में वहाँ पे. Like his uncle, Sunit also dreams of playing on the Asian Tour and the European Tour. बहुत अच्छा लगता है कि प्रोफेशनल बने यहाँ से फिर इंडियन टूर से एशियन टूर जाओ फिर सबका एक ड्रीम होता है. तो so, मेरा भी एक ड्रीम है कि मैं भी चाचा के साथ जाके उनके साथ यूरोप पीजे टोर खेलूं। खेलूल ओपन 2019 अट्रैक्टेड अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग फील्ड ऑफ अ हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्रोफेशनल गोल्फर्स इट इंक्लूडेड ऑल द टॉप परफॉर्मर्स ऑन द पीजीटी आईज ऑर्डर ऑफ मेरिट वीर अहलावत मुकेश कुमार शमीम खान क्षितिज नवीद कोल राशिद खान अर्जुन प्रसाद उदयन माने एंड करणदीप कोचा व सम ऑफ द टॉप नेम्स इन द स्टार स्टडीड फील्ड एज द फर्स्ट राउंड प्रोग्रेस्ड इट वॉज क्लियर दैट डेली बेस्ड गोल्फर्स शमीम खान हु हैड वन फोर्टीन टाइम्स ऑन द पी जी टी आई एंड अर्जुन प्रसाद व ऑन फायर as they posted identical scores of 6 under 66 to finish the first round in tied first place at the top of the leaderboard Sunit Charasia with a score of 5 under 67 completed the top 3 in the first round However the big surprise of the day was the amateur from Rajkot Jay Pandya He finished his first round with a 2 under 70 in tied 13th. At the end of the first day, the leaderboard looked pretty tight at the top, setting up the second round nicely after which the cut would be applied. After the break, we will look at one of the most unnoticed aspects of golf. Well, 
welcome back. The Kensville Open 2019 was held at the Kensville Golf and Country Club from 28th November to 1st December. They play a very important role in the smooth conduct of the game. They need to be on the golf course for long hours during a tournament. They are omnipresent on a golf course, often lurking in the shadows, but keep a close eye on every move the golfer makes on the course. Yes, we're talking about golf referees. We talked to Sampat Chari, who has officiated in close to 800 matches to understand the role of golf referees. The role of a referee, whether it be it professional golf tournament or uh, the club level amateur golf tournament, is the simple thing that you have to play by the rules. And uh, the unfortunate part is that, you know, golf is played over such a vast expanse of land. You're playing almost over 130, 140 acres of land or at least 100 acres of land, unlike any other sport where you have empires, like for example, in a cricket field, you're controlling play over, over 100 uh, yards. Here, you're doing it over 150 acres, so it becomes that much more difficult. And uh, since you're playing on such a huge expanse of land, you have golfers playing all over the golf course, and you've got to make sure that everybody is doing the right thing, the right time, all the time. Golf referees are guided by rules framed by the Royal and Ancient of St. Andrews, which are laid down in a rule book. Good refereeing is all about interpreting these rules in the interest of fair play. It's not an easy thing to do. You've got a big book. You've got about 24 rules to put in a nutshell. There are just 24 rules. But the 24 rules of golf has so many interpretations. And you know, everybody doesn't interpret it the same way. You could find you know, different situations to different uh, characters, different people playing on the course. So the idea is to learn how to interpret the golf rules. It is not something which you establish overnight. It is not something which you mug up. It comes with practice and it comes with you know, reading the rules again and again and again. But to become a golf referee, one has to go through a certain amount of intellectual rigor. Nobody becomes uh, perfect at it over a period of time. It's hard work. You have to keep at it. And the rules keep changing all the time. We are into new rules of uh, golf this year from 2019. There have been new rules which have been you know, far more simplified than what it used to be. So one has to be at it uh, all through. It's like you know the uh, golfers doing uh, practice at the practice diving range. The referees have to keep reading their books, have to keep reading the decisions on the rules of golf time and again. It helps if one has played golf before turning to referee. But to become a top referee, a person needs to be patient and polite and have strong nerves to give fair rulings. Basically, it would help a lot to be yourself or a, or a golfer. You know, if you're playing the game, you know what to do, keep reading the rules. And it's your ability to understand the rules, interpret them, and to deal with pressure and have a good positive attitude on the golf course when you're dealing with rulings on, you know, on the course. You should never get pressurized with names when you're handling rulings. You know, sometimes you come across big names making fundamental mistakes. A mistake is a mistake, a rule is a rule. Preparation before a tournament, such as marking the course well, helps in giving fair rulings. The more better you mark a golf course, your rulings become that much more simpler. There is no, you know, uh, trouble in interpreting the rules, you know, what is what the player is not confused as to, as to what it is. So, would you like to become a golf referee? After a closely contested first round, the intense competition resumed on the second day. The big gainer on the moving day was Amardeep Malik who fired five birdies for a score of five under in the second round to move up 32 places on the leaderboard to be placed tied seventh. Udayan Mane returned to the clubhouse with a five under for the day for an aggregate score of eight under 136 that put him in tied second place. While Arjun Prasad dropped two places to tied third with a score of two under in the second round. Meanwhile, Sunit Chaurasia, with four birdies and an eagle against a solitary bogey, counted a score of five under 67 for a total of 10 under 134 to move into tied first place.
Overnight leader Shamim Khan fired a round of 68 with the help of six birdies and two bogeys to remain at the top of the leaderboard in tied first place. Local lad Jay Pandya managed a score of 1 under 71 that ensured that he made his second cut on the Tata Steel PGTI. We've been having a great time on the golf course, which is, uh, which is the, what we wanted to do. And uh, we were actually planning to finish as high up as possible. And uh, it's going to be nice to give ourselves chances in the weekend. Uh, so we just went out there and tried to play as, as well as we could in the first two days. After the second round, a total of 52 golfers, including 50 professionals and two amateurs, made it to the crucial money rounds. It's time for a break. After we return, we will see how those who made the cut battled it out for the Kensville Open 2019 title. Welcome back. After two rounds, the Kensville Open 2019, presented by Tata Steel PGTI, headed into the weekend for a final showdown. Both Uday and Mane and Arjun Prasad started the third round two strokes behind the joint overnight leaders Shamim Khan and Sunit Chaurasia. They had their task cut out. Mani was looking to add another title to his one win this year, while Prasad was hunting for his maiden title. Prasad got off to a shaky start when he bogeyed the second hole. Throughout the day, he struggled to find the sweet spot on the fairways. A triple bogey on the 15th saw him stumble as he finished his round at 2 over 74. He slipped to tied 4th place with an aggregate score of 6 under 210. Mane, on the other hand, played a steady game to finish the front nine at one under. But after the turn, he failed to improve his card as he bogeyed the 13th hole before scoring a birdie on the 16th to complete the round at one under 71. Today I hit 13 out of 14 fairways and that's the key really to hitting greens on this golf course. I uh, gave myself a lot of birdie opportunities but uh, converted only two of them. Uh, with the low and bogey, it gave me a 71. Uh, I mean, under par is still under par. Uh, played solid golf, I just didn't make enough birdies today. Sunit Chaurasia, who played in the leader group, had to endure a very tough day that saw him make four bogeys against three birdies for a card of 1 over 73. Shamim Khan drew upon his vast experience to play it safe to finish the front nine at par. On the back nine, he scored two birdies on the 11th and the 15th holes and a bogey on the 16th to finish his round at 1 under 71 for a three-day aggregate of 11 under 205. For the third day in a row, he remained at the top of the leaderboard. Overall, hitting was a lot better, but it didn't stop so much. There were a lot of good shots. In the first two days, there was a lot of good performance. The average was a lot better. 
तकरीबन पहले दिन सात बड़ी दूसरे दिन छः बड़ी और आज सिर्फ दो बड़ी के साथ में फिर भी लीड बरकरार है तो मेरे लिए तो अच्छे साइन है After three rounds, Delhi's Shamim Khan built a cushion of two strokes, setting himself up for a title charge on the final day. Starting the final round, two strokes behind the overnight leader Shamim Khan, both Udayan Mane and Sunit Chaurasia fancied their chances to make it count. Chaurasia, despite his birdie on the first hole, faltered badly thanks to the subsequent six bogies that marred his card. His final round score of four over seventy-six pushed him down to tied fifth place. Veer Alavar, the winner of the previous week's Indian Oil Servo Masters, played a par round that was good enough for a tied fifth place finish. Abhijit Singh Chadha. Returned to the clubhouse with a round of four under 68, while Om Prakash Chauhan scored one under 71. Both Chadda and Chauhan finished at six under 282 in tied third place. Mane also made a shaky start when he bogeyed the first hole, but he managed to limit the damage by draining two birdie putts on the eighth and the ninth holes on the back nine. A birdie on the 11th hole and a bogey on the 15th meant Mane ended up with a final round of one under 71, and thus finished the tournament in second place. Compared to others, Shamim Khan painted a picture of poise and control. He carded three birdies on the second. Third and ninth holes, against one bogey on the par three fifth hole, to further extend his lead. At this stage, it became clear that barring a serious mishap, the Delhi-based golfer would add another feather to his overcrowded cap. On the back nine, he scored two birdies and a pair of bogeys for a final round score of two under seventy. He finished in pole position on the leaderboard with a four-day total of 13 under 275 to lift his 15th title on the Tata Steel PGTI. पहले दो दिन में परफॉर्मेंस बहुत स्ट्रॉंग रहा और शायद वही वजह रही कि जीतने में मेरे को काफी हेल्प मिली। लास्ट के दो दिन में हालांकि इतने स्कोर नहीं होते, but फिर भी फाइनल डे के हिसाब से आज पांच बड़ी के साथ में तीन बोगी के साथ में बहुत अच्छा स्कोर फिनिश हुआ है। और सबसे अच्छी बात है एटलीस्ट कम से कम तीन शॉट के लिए सेट होने जीता। शमीम खान रिमेंड इन डोमिनेंट फॉर्म फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट डे टू इमर्ज एस द विनर एट द केंसविल ओपन 2019 प्रेजेंटेड बाय टाटा स्टील पीजीटीआई। राशिद खान, डिस्पाइट फेलिंग टू मेक द कट, कंटिन्यूड टू लीड द टाटा स्टील पीजीटीआई � Shamim Khan climbed to 14th place on the money list. He also earned the official world golf ranking points that lifted him to 701 in the world, a gain of 440 spots. That's all that we have in this episode of Inside the PGTI. See you next time.